Imagine the scenario. You are going to dinner with a buddy, but they inform you that they'll be 10 to 15 minutes late. It's not always a write-off. Things happen. However, if you know someone always late, it might swiftly deteriorate your connection with them. According to a recent poll, 15 to 20 percent of Americans are perpetually late. That's a lot of individuals going about in a huff, irritating their friends and co-workers regularly. So why do so many of us have trouble getting things done on time? Being late is widely regarded as a bad trait. It's something that businesses frown upon, irritates punctual friends, and can cause conflict in relationships. It's fair to believe that someone often late lacks good manners or appreciates their time more than others. So several elements are to consider. And another research has revealed that certain personality types are less timely than others. They call them overschedulers for a reason. They are naturally optimistic and feel they can handle everything on their to-do lists. So today, here are the reasons why people usually get late. Let's talk about goals in the abstraction. When people's objectives are imprecise or abstract, they are more prone to postpone than when their goals are specific and well-defined. Goals like get in shape or start exercising are, for instance, unclear and so prone to lead to procrastination. A goal like go to the gym directly after work on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and spend at least 30 minutes on the treadmill jogging at a fast speed is tangible and therefore far more likely to motivate you to take action. Moreover, other variables might make a goal feel abstract, in addition to a lack of a clear description. According to a constitutional level theory, goals viewed as very implausible are also perceived as relatively abstract. This indicates that if a person believes it is improbable to achieve a specific objective, they may perceive it as abstract increasing the probability of procrastinating on it. Temporal self-discontinuity or temporal disjunction is a phenomenon that causes people to be late because they perceive their future self as being separate from their present self. Someone could put off eating healthy even if their doctor advised them to do so, thinking the detrimental effects of their current diet will only become a big issue in a few years, which they see as someone else's responsibility. People might procrastinate in several ways due to this gap between their current and future selves. People frequently postpone taking action to pursue a more appealing path of activity in the future. Unfortunately, this thinking can lead to long-term procrastination even if the procrastinator never follows through on the intended strategy. So for instance, a person may delay beginning to exercise at home because they want to join a gym and start a thorough workout plan later, even though getting started now would be helpful and would not prohibit them from switching to a more severe exercise plan later. People occasionally procrastinate on projects because they are overconfident in their capacity to fulfill them in the future. For instance, a student may opt to put off starting an assignment that is due in few weeks because they believe they will have enough time to complete it later. This type of optimism might arise due to underestimating the time required to accomplish the activities in issue. This phenomenon is known as the planning fallacy. It can cause both procrastinators and non-procrastinators to believe they will complete future chores sooner than they could. People may get late because they are unable to make timely judgments. 
This may be a problem in various situations, such as when a person can't select which course of action to take or when they need to make a specific decision before moving on with their overall strategy. For instance, if a person can't select which diet plan to follow, they may put off starting to diet. Similarly, a person may put off starting their research paper because they are unsure of what to write about. Thanks for taking out time to see this video. Hope you liked it. Feel free to comment if you agree or even disagree with my thoughts in this video. Kindly take a moment to subscribe and comment on my channel. This keeps us going. I will see you soon.